What is up guys? Welcome back. Today I actually want to start incorporating the reactions back onto the channel. So let's go ahead and bring up the video that we will be reviewing today. And that is uh, Connor Murphy uploaded a video pretty recently called Yes, I'm Alive and I'm Sorry. And it's on his other YouTube channel, Connor Murphy Talks. You guys are more than welcome to go watch the video yourself or you can subscribe to his new YouTube channel. But we're gonna go through, in fact, before, just like every YouTube video, might as well take a look at the comments before we jump into anything. He's still not okay because he didn't take his shirt off or took off his shirt. I mean, I would agree with that because if many of you know Connor Murphy, you know the content. Yeah. Who's that? That weird YouTuber dude. That weird YouTuber who always like goes on Omega and he rips off his shirt and rips off his shirt, rips off his shirt randomly. Wait. <laughs> and I'm sorry it took me so long to tell you guys that. Because of everything that happened, I was actually put into a psych ward for over two weeks, which I'll talk about later in the video. But for those of you who don't know, a few weeks ago I made a video where it appeared as though I was going to harm myself. Now the explanation of why I made that video is much more complicated than you probably think, so I would really appreciate it if you watched this entire video. So a few days prior to making that video, I engaged in this spiritual ceremony where I took this mind-altering substance known as ayahuasca. This is a <laughs> okay. Yeah, so this is exactly what I predicted. I knew it had to be either shrooms, ayahuasca, hallucinogen, and you know, I brought up on another tab here, ayahuasca. Many of you may not know what ayahuasca is. It's very common in shaman rituals as a hallucinogen, eye-opening experience. You'll probably hear it talked about a lot on Joe Rogan experience, DMT. Is it illegal in the US? The plant itself isn't illegal per se, but the active ingredient known as DMT, as you just heard me mention, is banned as a schedule one drug, same category as heroin, ecstasy, yada, yada, yada. So, what that means is when I predicted or was talking about Connor Murphy's mental breakdown, as you saw in the clip he showed just before, I knew it was some type of drug related thing. I knew Connor was out of character. He wasn't acting himself and he was just, he had seemed as though he just went through a psychedelic experience to put it plain, simple and straight to the point. But let me state, I also saw a flood of comments coming through of people saying, no, Connor Murphy's acting. He said it was acting numerous times. He stated it in his video. So let me just state, I have seen numerous suicide related videos or goodbye videos posted on YouTube. They're extremely sad, but they get removed by YouTube. And I mean, rightfully so, because it doesn't pass their community guidelines. There's tons of kids that watch, millions of kids in fact, who watch YouTube videos on a very frequent basis and to have those types of videos out there that's just not acceptable so to basically bypass keeping your video up and live on your YouTube channel you say it's acting because then it's a skit you know YouTube can't take a video down if it's a skit also there was other comments that yeah okay maybe he is acting let's say let's be the devil's advocate and say that Connor was acting it all out at the end of his video he gave his home address he straight up said the exact address where he lives. Connor Murphy has millions of fans, okay? Keep that in mind. That opens him up to be swatted. It opens him up to have fans randomly showing up unannounced at his door. Uh, if people dislike him, know where he lives. Like, that's just something I'm pretty sure every YouTuber with any type of a size following knows you never do that. You never, ever, ever, ever disclose where you live. I definitely want to state this right now. I am so incredibly glad he's okay and that he's recovering or has recovered and I guess he might still be in the process, who really knows? So let's say you already aren't in the best mindset to combine hallucinogens in that experience of being in isolation, being alone, can basically lead to some very troublesome times ahead. And it seems like that's what Connor was saying. Sorry for the long ramble, but let's go ahead and continue. Very powerful substance, and it caused me to act much differently than I normally would. I was not myself for a while after I took it. It caused me to think and act very differently. Now, at the beginning of that video, I did say that I was acting, and that was true. I seriously meant that in the moment. Now, that doesn't mean that I was okay, or that I was in my right mind, but I was acting, and I'll explain why. Now, what I'm about to say seemed logical at the time because I was not in my right mind, but looking back on it, it does not now. But I'll let you guys know where my mind was at. So over the past couple years, I've been trying to become an actor in Los Angeles. And I've never really talked about this, but to be honest, that's the main reason why I moved out there in the first place. So I had an agent, and I was doing auditions pretty frequently. The biggest job I got is actually airing right now 
on YouTube. It's this Bachelorette satire series. And although that was cool, my acting career just didn't live up to my expectations. I just didn't get any of the big jobs that I wanted. So I guess it could have been acting from the state of mind of what he was currently going through at that time, if that makes sense. So what I'm saying is Connor Murphy says he wants to be an actor. He's wanted to be an actor. He's wanted to make it in Hollywood, you know, movies live up to his full potential and maybe under the effects of the ayahuasca and the hallucinogens and what it did to him made him believe that uploading those videos to his youtube channel in fact let's head over i think he has since removed them uh let's check so yeah he's removed all the videos there was at least like five to ten videos of him doing interviews with friends family talking about his journey and what he's experienced in life and everything. So what I was mentioning is I think under the effects of ayahuasca, what it did to his mind, he believed himself that he was acting, even though we perceived it as he's going through something mentally troublesome, like very worrisome to where people didn't know what he was gonna do to himself. I gave up. I plan on moving back to Austin on the 15th of May. I was planning on moving into this influencer house. I had a flight booked. I was completely prepared to leave, but, in that period of time where I was not myself, I had this crazy idea. I would make some acting reels that were so dramatic and so controversial that it would grab the attention of producers. And this would be my one final shot at becoming an actor in Los Angeles. I just really did not want to have regret. In the moment, I feel like I was gonna regret not trying harder. So there's actually more acting reels that I filmed that day that I haven't released, and they're not sad like the first one. Now this was a very spontaneous idea. Obviously it wasn't. Um, so what I'm kind of, I, I definitely wanna state guys, like I'm so incredibly glad Connor's okay. Like so incredibly glad. That's what all really matters. But what I'm having a hard time believing is that he is saying it was acting because I don't know how many of you watched it, but if you went to his main channel where he uploaded, like I mentioned, those five to 10 videos, however many it was, I remember distinctly one of them along with the extremely scary one where he gave out his home address and was talking about self-inflicting harm and it would just be easier to be dead and you know everything you don't wanna hear. The one with his parents, his mom and his dad, was an extremely long podcast style where you could see they're legitimately concerned for their son. And it was, no offense to Connor, it was the most cringe and awkward thing I think I've ever had to watch. And you're basically watching someone who was under the effects of ayahuasca or the residual effects thereafter because you could just see in his eyes, his face, where his thought process was at, that he wasn't all there internally. Um, it's really hard to explain unless someone, unless you've seen someone on DMT or someone under the effects of hallucinogens or how it changes them thereafter. But I don't know if I'm buying the whole acting thing just because the one main thing, I don't think no matter what, whether it's acting or not, you would ever give out your home address. Like no matter what state of mind I'm in, I could be tripping fucking balls like just tripping out of my mind. I don't think I would ever give out my home address on my YouTube channel or any social media platform. Because as I mentioned, I mean, nothing, no good ever comes from that. Thought out very well. And at the time I had tunnel vision. The only thing I could think about was my dreams and I didn't think about the potential consequences that these types of videos could have. And for the video that I did release, I want to sincerely apologize. It was extremely insensitive to put out and I cause a lot of stress for a lot of people. It's safe to say that I won't be taking that type of mind altering substance ever again. But I just wanna let you guys know that I was never going to harm myself. So let me tell you what happened after that video was posted. After so if that part's true, like I, I don't feel like I can say, sorry guys, my eyes like driving me crazy. Um, I don't think I can be upset at Connor but I don't think it's right. So if what he states is true, where he said he never had the intent to harm himself, but then he uploads a video like that, because as I mentioned, I mean, I've seen like close friends actually upload goodbye videos and they went through with it and YouTube took their videos down because obviously they didn't say it was acting in their videos and they didn't know what would happen. <sighs> I mean, I don't know. If you never had the intent to actually do it and you were doing it 
to try and further your acting career yeah that, that's extremely insensitive like for sure without a doubt but it's just hard to say because obviously he was under the effects of drugs so he wasn't in his right state of mind for that video i went to venice beach and continued making these acting reels in the form of a vlog now those next acting reels are different in the sense that they might be kind of controversial, but they could cause absolutely no harm whatsoever. And to let you guys know that I wasn't and am still not at all a danger to myself, and to try and alleviate some of the stress I may have caused, I'll actually be releasing these acting reels in the next few days on my vlog channel. Now, as I was making that vlog, I was arrested. Many people called the cops after that video was made. My friends were rightfully worried about me and they actually led the cops right to where I was in Venice. Then because I was deemed a danger to myself, I was taken to UCLA's hospital and put in a psych ward for over two weeks. The doctors diagnosed me with drug-induced psychosis versus bipolar disorder, which basically means I had or have one of these conditions, but they are not sure which. So I mean, I'm no doctor, but I'm gonna say it's the drug-induced psychosis. <laughs> I mean, you took ayahuasca, you had a psychedelic experience, everything changed immediately after. I'm gonna say that's what it was. But like I said, I mean, I'm not a doctor, so who's to really say? But also, holy fuck, like two weeks in a psych ward, that's a long time. While I was there, I was put on medication, and now the doctors and I can confidently tell you that I am back in my right mind and I am feeling myself. So while this all seems like a very negative situation, I wanna do my best to turn it into a positive and to fix some of the damage that I've caused. I would like to believe that the goodbye video actually has a greater purpose and will have an extremely positive effect in the long run. And I'll tell you why. Even though I've obviously had my struggles recently, the past few weeks have been some of the most self-improvement focused weeks of my entire life. I've had some extremely eye-opening spiritual experiences that have changed my life for the better. I can honestly say that I'm completely free from the illusion of death and that I've been able to fill in some of the gaps between science and religion that I've had in my head. Now you know this is a guy who takes DMT for the first time and it changes his life. Like Connor Murphy goes from being the shirtless Connor Murphy walking down the street picking up girls to the most spiritual guy of all time. He's just so, sp <laughs> this is, all right, here's the perfect one. Let's see if I can get that on the screen. So ayahuasca always turns extrovert normies into spiritual hippies. And I mean, that's probably the most factual comment in probably any of these comments would be my guess. Well, to completely rid myself of insecurities and social anxiety that used to haunt me just months ago. I've also discovered some simple yet vastly overlooked keys to longevity and I've radically improved my health over the past few weeks. My resting heart rate has gone from 70 to 50 in just a matter of weeks. And for the first All right, his resting heart rate going from 70 to 50 though is probably just from the weight loss. I mean, you guys can't see it on the screen, but on the side recommended, it's Connor Murphy's most recent video, what two weeks in a psych ward did to my body. And it's basically him with weight loss. So his heart rate going from 70 to 50 or whatever it was, that's probably just from the weight loss. <laughs> I mean, to, to be plain and simple and honest about the situation. This time in my entire life, I can honestly say that I truly feel fulfilled and happy. Even though my life situation has been great for a while, I am just now finding true inner peace and happiness after about three years of spiritual practice. I found something so powerful that the only thing in life that matters to me right now is sharing it with you. I want you guys to experience and learn the things that I have because they are so incredible. So if you're wondering, that's why I posted this video on this channel. I'm turning this channel into a spiritual and self-improvement channel. And at this moment, this is far more important than my main channel. Um, so, I mean, I, I assume that is the gist of it. You basically got the full recap. So Connor states it was all acting. Um, he was in the psych ward for two weeks lost weight, he's the happiest he's ever been, which is truly incredible. I mean, guys, what this all really boils down to is Connor didn't go through with it. He's alive, he's well, that's what all that really matters. I really wish I could show you guys that example that I was talking about where he's interviewing his mom and his dad in a podcast style video because it was just, it was so real and so awkward and cringe that it's just not physically possible to act like that, if that makes sense. Um, unless you're like, an Oscar winning top performer and you're just crushing movies, um, that would be the only way. But to also incorporate your parents into it who are also acting very well, I mean, 
I don't know. I'm a skeptic. I don't want to be like a conspiracy theory person about Connor Murphy's goodbye video, but I don't know. The whole home address thing, maybe it's just me. Who knows? But what it all boils down to, as I mentioned, is that Connor's okay. So I definitely want to know your guys' thoughts in the comments down below. What you think of all this whole experience? Do you think it was wrong of Connor to do that? Are you, what, what are just your overall thoughts? I mean, let, let's get to the bottom of it. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Connor, if you're watching, I'm glad you're okay, bro. And I'm glad you're, you know, starting to really go down the spiritual route of starting this new channel. And as I mentioned, guys, if you want to watch the video that we just reviewed, it's Yes, I'm Alive and I'm Sorry. And it's Connor Murphy's, I guess, new main channel is what he's stating is Connor Murphy Talks. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please make sure to smash a thumbs up on the video. And uh, yeah, make sure to be careful. I'll catch you guys all in the next one.